Peace, you're now rocking with V from Be Thyself. I'd like to welcome you back to the channel. Thank you for tuning in. Throughout the week, I'll be demonstrating what a CMOS face mask can do. What I did was I used my CMOS and elderberry ginger infusion. I figured why not apply it on the largest organ that we have, which is our skin. You see, there's a lot of benefits and the thing is that I see a lot of females doing this. You know, I thought it would be good for a male perspective because CMOS is good for the hair, CMOS is good for the skin. Once you apply the CMOS to your skin, it dries up very quickly and the areas that you applied the sea moss to begins to tighten up. Sea moss is alive. As soon as you go to rinse it off and apply water, it's like you're rejuvenating the areas that you've applied the sea moss to. Figured I'd try it over five days. I see that's what most people do. You know, I just wanted to give you a male perspective. Today is day one on a Wednesday. I'm gonna leave it on overnight actually. It's eight o'clock right now. I'm gonna head to bed and in the morning I'm gonna go ahead and rinse it off. See you all tomorrow. Peace and Grand Rising, it's a new day. The sea moss is dried up. Right now, I'm just gonna rinse it off with a warm rag. I'm also gonna wash my face with some uh, natural soap. Yeah, it's like my face feels nice and hydrated. And I never really had any face problems, not much acne. You know, when you drink a lot of water, you kinda alleviate those problems anyway. But still, the sea moss face mask helps Instead of applying it overnight, I figure this time around, I'm going to leave it on for about an hour, two hours before I hop in the shower. And then once I'm in the shower, I just wipe it off then. It's real good for people who don't wanna use the lotion with all the chemicals in it. Or if you just wanna avoid using any type of product that can make your face a little oily. Anyways, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and wash my face. I'll make sure I use soaps that have like very minimal ingredients. Like I'm about to go to war, camouflage for the jungles. Make sure I, you get under the eyes. It's good if you have uh, bags under your eyes or the dark circles under your eyes. Get it under here. Fellas, you wanna make sure you take another and you're hitting your beard. Don't be shy to apply to areas that you have facial hair. Wanna get under your neck too, which I didn't do yesterday, but I'm doing it now. It's real good to use bladder rack with a combination of sea moss because bladder rack is another sea vegetable. So if you want to use a sea moss specifically for your skin, it'd be really wise to add the bladder rack to it. So I'm not sure if you can see, but most of the sea moss has dried up. Yeah, I'm gonna rinse it off in the shower. So when I'm washing my face, I make sure that I use warm water to open up my pores. And then I apply the sea moss so the sea moss can get into the pores. And then I rinse it off with cold water. If you have a brush to apply to sea moss, that might be better and less messy than what I'm doing. So I just used warm water to get all the sea moss out. Now I'm gonna go ahead and use cold to splash my face, close my pores. access to the sun it's really great if you apply your sea moss mask so the sea moss can absorb that energy from the sun that energy from the sun then it gets absorbed into your face that's what I'm gonna do now sea moss smells great though because I use berries in mine so instead of me being in the house all day I'll sit out here and allow the sun to naturally dry it up for me you gotta take advantage of the sun when you can. The sun's setting, so I'm taking the opportunity 
to allow the face masks to dry up while um, doing a little bit of sun gazing. It's good for your eyes, good for your skin. With the sea moss, it's a win-win. There we go, I'm dropping bars right now. So my face mask dried up from the sun, but I wanted to go ahead and do a jog so I could get the extra wind through my beard. And it seems to be dried up through the beard as well, so I'm gonna go ahead and rinse this off, hop in the shower, call it a day. After the shower, face feels nice and refreshed, moisturized. My beard is kind of detangled now. I should have been using it a long time ago, honestly. It's going good. So today's day five, the last day of the CMOS face mask. So for the last day, what I will say is that my face feels much more moisturized. I don't need to apply anything on it. My CMOS has reached this limit a bit. It's a little runny, but um, uh, we're gonna run with it. It's hard to talk when you get the sea moss face mask on because it just makes your face so tight, but this is some real dope weather we're having. I can't wait until the band lifts because I'll be able to go out and source some more sea moss and I'll be able to provide that to you all as well and at reasonable price. Fresh out the shower, that concludes my five days of applying sea moss as a face mask. What I've found is it keeps my skin properly hydrated. It redefines the texture of my hair. So to the kings and queens out there, make sure you're using your sea moss responsibly. If you are thinking about using sea moss as a face mask, just apply a little patch on your skin just to see how it reacts to it. I can't guarantee the quality of other people's sea moss in comparison to the sea moss that I have. I can imagine this will be very beneficial for those who have skin problems like eczema, rashes, or acne, don't overdo it, but use it to your benefit. So if you enjoyed the video, hit the like. If you didn't, feel free to hit the unlike. It is what it is. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell, get notified every time we drop content here on the channel Monday at 8 a.m. Until next time, to tell Nana.